everyone and welcome to CPAC 2023. I'm your host, Amelia Kane, and joining me today is Larry O'Connor. He's the host of The Larry O'Connor Show on WMAL. Larry, thank you so much for being here oh, today. Oh, it's my pleasure. Well, we love Judicial Watch. We love everything that you do. I always call you guys the real oversight in Washington, D.C., because no matter who's in the majority and they have their oversight committee, Judicial Watch is always there overseeing the overseers. I love that. Well, we appreciate too, and you do <laughs> wonderful work. Thank you. We've been hearing a lot of chatter about critical race theory. Can you actually explain what critical race theory is for our viewers? Well, I mean, first of all, because it's Marxist in origin, they try to make it as complicated and nonsensical as possible so that when you actually try to nail them down and say, wait a minute, what are you trying to teach our kids? Oh, no, no, no that's not what it is. You got it all wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. It's an inherently divisive uh, theory that suggests that everything in our society, whether it's uh, our economy or our system of justice, it has all been uh, 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 influenced by or in some way uh, uh, slanted because of racism, inherent racism, systemic racism in our society. Um, and, they, and they take that theory, specifically how it affects our economy and our judicial system, and they utilize it to influence our curriculum for our children uh, all the way down to kindergarten. So basically that's why you see these stories about you know, uh, five-year-olds on the playground learning these really divisive lessons where the, the, the white kids have to, you know, kneel down and apologize to the black kids for systemic racism and things like that. Yes. Because a white person is part of this systemic racist society. So, and it, which basically is, bottom line, the easiest way to explain what critical race theory is, is it's the exact opposite of Martin Luther King's <laughs> vision and positive dream for our society. It's the opposite of what we want in our in our pluralistic society. Exactly. And so that's how I would describe it. Right. And that leads me to my next question. <laughs> Judicial Watch just revealed that the DC public schools are overhauling their social um, social studies programs and infiltrating it with Marxist of course CRT they are. theory. Of course they are. Yeah. Can you like how do people in DC feel about this? Are parents speaking up? Well I'll tell you what, um, I think a lot of viewers right now are thinking, hey, didn't DC vote 92% for uh, Joe Biden and for Hillary Clinton? they get what they vote for and sadly that's that's frankly the case however I like this issue I like a lot of the issues that are going on in our schools right now in our education our curriculum because it transcends party you don't have to be a Democrat or a Republican to want the best education for your children and I do think that issues like this will transcend party and parents are speaking up now in DC not enough but in Northern Virginia, in some areas in Maryland, and certainly wherever you live in this country. It, yes, it's happening in D.C., but it's happening in every school system in this country, and it's not gonna fly in other areas. Now, I frankly think as long as we have a federal Department of Education, then we should have a federal policy against this, and this is a role for Congress to take, because it's, you know, when the public school system was first founded in this nation, it had two major incentives. Educate our children so that they can become good workers and outstanding members of our society, and teach them patriotic citizenship and love for our country. Where is that gone? They're actually being taught the opposite, to hate our country. And I think that there's a federal role in saying, listen, you can teach kids whatever the community desires, but one fundamental thing you do is you don't teach them to hate our nation. And that's, what, that's what's happening. It's so, that's a long answer to your question, no, I'm it's, sorry. it's so divisive. So how do we stop this? In the well, land of the free, how do we stop this well, divisiveness? Well, these are our schools. We have to remember that they are our schools. We, the people, the, that school board member that you vote for. How many of you can name one of your school board members? See? See, we focus so much on who's sitting in the White House and we forget about what's happening in our house. We need to get involved in our communities. We need to get involved with our school boards. We need to get, we need to hold our elected leaders accountable and say, exactly. there are some expectations we have. And by the way, if you don't have kids in public schools, if you homeschool, if you're too old and you don't have kids anymore and you think, well, that's not my problem. No, 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 no. Those kids that are coming out of those school systems, they're your neighbors. They're your kids' neighbors. They're people you're going to be employing and hiring. They're the person working on the other side of Panera counter when you're trying to get your muffin. So it affects our society who comes out. And you have a stake in this. It's your tax dollars. It's your schools. And we need to get activated. We need to treat our school board elections as important and critical as we teach a, a, an election for the White House. Absolutely. It's only our kids, you know. It's the future of America that's at stake. You know, someone once said that I believe our children are our future. And I, oh, that was Whitney Houston. But you know, you get the point. It's always a pleasure, Larry. I always have a stupid joke at the end. I'm sorry. We appreciate you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. My pleasure. And Thank we love you. Tom Fitton and his right to bear arms. <laughs>
for more on our work, please visit judicialwatch.org. Because he's got really good arms. Like,